Meanwhile, the sharp fall in the value of the Indian rupee against the US dollar brings cheer to the Indian expatriate community. But some are equally worried about the escalating cost of life back home. The rupees fall may be a major worry for most Indians, but it's good news for some, especially non-resident Indians. Builders say property inquiries from NRIs have gone up 20% in the past month alone. In my hometown, Gujarat is doing fairly well, and I heard like real estate is really booming right now. I know that real estate is a great investment. The rupee has fallen nearly 11% in 2013 and is the worst performing currency in Asia. This means as a student studying overseas, you will have to pay up to 4 lakh rupees more for an educational loan of 40,000 US dollars. As a student, I would definitely worry about it for especially a place in New York. Uh, it's pretty expensive for college here. That's exactly why this mechanical engineering graduate from Kerala chose Germany over America for higher studies, but a weak rupee still remains a concern. Everything counts, uh, living expense, the education fees, because uh, what I'm planning right now is to take a loan. Working there, uh, I'll have to cut down my expenses, plus I'll have to look for better uh, you know, chances to survive there. It's not just students. Travel operators say costlier holidays abroad may see a drop in prospective clients, but domestic tourism could benefit. If it can impact uh, foreign travel, it can also positively uh, affect our uh, domestic travel. A falling rupee is great news for NRIs who repatriate money to India. With $69 billion in global remittances in 2012, India is second only to China and this year that figure could surge. As always, two sides to a coin. With Namrata Brar in New York and Sneha Koshi in Tiruvananthapuram, Anasya Mathur for NDTV.